we are in Croatia. So I left Bosnia at 3.45 this morning and it's now, let me turn on the car, 6.35. I'm in Croatia, as I just said, and I have listened to the audiobook of the Diviners, Diviners. And I don't know how much I have listened, actually, let me, I'm on chapter, huh, there is no chapter, one, two, three, four, five, or whatever, uh, so, yeah, so far it's good, like, I'm having fun with the main character and the way she talks, it's very Tina Tina Jury, like, she's 17, uh, but I'm enjoying it, the only thing I had to say is that if you're not a native English speaker. I do Please proceed to the highlighted route. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you're not like a native English speaker at the very beginning of the, the story, uh, you have the characters playing like the Ouija board the or whatever. sisters were barely out of the dining room when Mabel convulsed in a fit of fear. After the fever, they're passing stranger. No! Oh my gosh, sorry. So, I was saying, they were playing a Ouija board and it was like, they were spelling uh, like what the ghost was actually telling them, whatever, and I just couldn't follow with it, so I missed like a few sentences, but it was like, they were scared, so I guess it was like, I'm behind you, or I'm coming for you, or I want to teach you how to get scared, or whatever, how to fear, blah, 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 but just know that, like as an audiobook, just for that, and especially because I was driving, and I was like listening to 1.6 um, speed kind of thing, uh, I just did not follow and did not even try, so... That's the only thing I would say, but so far I love the audiobook, I love the main character, I love how she is and how everything is so far. Uh, I don't really know what it is about so far, I mean, apparently she uh, has troubles in her hometown in Ohio, and Ohio, Ohio, whatever, and she's going to New York to her ankle to be a bit with him, like for a few months or whatever until everything comes down and obviously her mom was like yeah that's a good idea you're not gonna like that idea but that's a good idea you need to be far away from here and she was like okay and she was actually happy because who wouldn't want to go to new york uh especially as a teenager because new york is like crazy it's fancy it's like diversity it's like so much more you can be who you want to be in New York, you can just dress how you like, etc. So it's kind of different. I've never been there, but from what I understand, it's like this. Um, so obviously, she's happy there. She just got there, but so far, so good. So I don't have any more to say. So I'm gonna hit the road again and I will update you a bit later. Well, so yay! <laughs> and now I'm on the parking. Um, my focus whatever uh in austria so i passed slovenia so geography here you have bosnia then croatia then slovenia then austria then germany then belgium sometimes i go through the netherlands just like for 20 minutes uh to get to belgium but this time my navigator my gps whatever uh is saying no but uh regarding the story i have listened to quite a bit um i i don't know how much uh, like I have 10 hours left at normal speed and it's oops, sorry 18 uh, hours long normal speed uh, here at my speed I have like 5 hours 49 minutes left something like that so far I am enjoying it um, I don't know I have a feeling it's a three stars four stars just because I don't care enough but that might be because it's an audiobook you know when when I listen to an audiobook I tend to care a bit less but the thing is that it's not I, I don't want to say it's fast-paced but it's almost fast-paced because there is always something going on and it's like Fantasy, yes, because the main character has some kind of ability. Let me check the synopsis to make sure I'm not saying any spiders. The diviners. Yeah, did I tell you what it was about action? Let's read the synopsis. Something dark and evil has awakened. Evie O'Neill has been exiled from her boring old hometown and shipped off to the bustling streets of New York City. And she's bus 
constitutely ecstatic. It's 1926 and New York is filled with speakeasies, Seafield girls and rakish pickpockets. The only catch is that she has to live with her uncle Will and his unhealthy obsession with the occult. Evie worries, uh, Evie worries her uncle will discover her dark secret, a supernatural power that has only brought her trouble so far. But when the police find a murdered girl branded with a cryptic symbol and Will is called to the scene, Evie realizes her gift could help catch serial killer. As Evie jumps headlong into a dance with a murderer, other stories unfold in the city that never sleeps. A young man named Memphis is caught between two worlds. A chorus girl named Theta, or Theta is running from her past, a student named Jericho is hiding a shocking secret and unknown to all something dark and evil has awakened. So there is a lot going on and I really love the dynamic between all the different characters and I love what is going on and the way it is told. So yeah, good job for the uh, narrator and I believe Okay, I might sound stupid, but I believe it is a full cast characters. But sometimes, you know, how uh, some narrator managed to make the voices different, make, make the voices sound different. So sometimes I'm not sure if it's a full cast of character, if there are like a few different narrators, or if it's only one making the voices. I'm not sure, I don't know, but I'm really enjoying the work. And it's like dark, but it's not that dark. It's like why you dark but still like interesting and captivating and gripping i want to say uh but in a soft way it's like you're not scared or you're not like stressed or whatever at least i am not which is good because i'm driving but i'm really really am enjoying uh the book i just don't feel like it's going to be a five stars because i'm not in love with the story but it feels like a 1926 new york city it's lo it's not like nowadays it's a bit older, but it's not like too old or whatever, even in the, in the way they speak and in the way they, they chat, they interact to each other, the respect there is like, not that we lost respect nowadays, but we respect differently. It's more familiar when here there is a bit of like distance still between characters and from different ages or whatever uh so i'm really enjoying that and i'm really enjoying the new york atmosphere and i just find that murder and paranormal in new york it just works it, it that city has a murder kind of vibes for books like i'm not saying that new york is a murder city or whatever but just for books as it is a huge city that never sleeps and that there is always something going on, it fits um, perfectly. So I'm happy about that, so I will uh, talk to you a bit later when I'm, when I'm gonna refill my car next time. Uh, so we shall see how that goes, but I'm enjoying it and I feel like it's a good audiobook if you are actually like uh, driving or whatever. So talk to you later, boss. Now turn right. Okay, wolf. Of course, so, uh, of course the music had to start, whatever. So I'm in Germany, I don't know if I ever updated you once I was like in Germany or whatever. But nightmare on the road, I got lost. Like there was a huge traffic jam uh, caused by a huge accident blocking both way. Uh, so the th four roads to go this way for but we're, you know what I mean like the two ways um, so they closed it completely so we had to leave but the accident was so far from where they forced us to leave the highway that it took me three hours to find a way because my navigator so wiki's navigator and my phone's navigator kept telling me to um, turn back where I was uh, to where I was and yeah that was not possible because everything was closed so like five or six entrances were closed so it was a nightmare I really thought I was lost but I kept getting in traffic and traffic and traffic or whatever that's the way it is when you're on the road like whatever the reason is when you are on the road 
you might have some traffic, but whatever. So I was supposed to arrive uh, in Belgium by like 15 before 6, so 6 p.m. let's say. Now it's saying 9.30 p.m. So uh, never mind, I'm taking the time to update you. So uh, I only have like 37 36 minutes left of my so audiobook speed 2.2 now because I'm familiar with everything and actually I enjoy uh, the story I think it's it's getting more towards a three than a four but I'm really enjoying the um, New York kind of atmosphere but the New York in 1920 I found the description and the atmosphere very like ripping picturable in a way like you can really imagine how everything is being like described i don't know how to explain that exactly but it's really really well done and it's done in a way that you can tell that the author has like some talent whatever like that's not an author for nothing you know what i mean um but the thing is that what is weird is that the writing size sometimes is so like precious but sometimes the way it is done it's so simple and you know sometimes I'm just like okay what's going on here it's so simple then very beautiful then so simple so it's a bit awkward uh, but the simplicity matches the characters I would say even if I, I can see why some people would have issues with the main character because she's like a bit sassy, a bit bitchy, she's gonna bite back, um, but she's protecting her friends, etc. And I love all the bonding that's going on, especially between some characters. And you know, there are some secrets, so there are some like friendships, uh, also relationships, like love relationships going on etc but nothing is like too much for my taste uh, so that i quite like it i quite enjoy the characters so bonding but the way they are acting their behavior etc i already said that uh triggers um lots of violence i would say uh some against animals but yeah so i i, I did not know i didn't read any um trigger for that before but yeah just be aware of that but overall i found it very intriguing it made me think of ha huh, uh the thriller mystery that i have read truly devious uh it makes me think of that one because you know the kids there is like a murder so they're going on that investigation kind of thing but it's so much more than just mystery and it just matches New York, like, I, I, I'm not gonna say that enough, it matches the atmosphere depictable, depictable, depicted by the book, the author, uh, it really, everything goes together, that's just amazing, and I love that, uh, but I think it's more of a three stars, because I don't feel enough, the thing is that, I feel like it is fast-paced, but at the same time, it is not fast-paced because of the way it is written, but it is fast-paced because there is always something going on, and some of it were predictable, but again, whenever I say that it is predictable, it is, it was predictable for me, but it might not be for you, uh, I'm, I'm really good at predicting things so don't take that into account maybe uh, but it was kind of predictable for me but I still enjoyed it and for me the pacing was good because you the way it is done makes you like intrigued from the beginning till the end so I'm enjoying it it's dark yes because murder mystery and some like paranormal kind of thing occult uh, you know ghost spirits uh, it's also the battle between the good and the bad and also like religious questions so if there is a god how come he allowed or they allowed actually we don't know they allowed evil to be there and you know, you have some philosophy as well because we human, we want to be able to do whatever we want. We want to be free, but that freedom actually gives you the opportunity to do evil. And so it's like so much more than that. It's really intriguing. I really love all that little thing here that may make you like think. And yeah, I am enjoying that. I just feel like sometimes it feels like really worked on and sometimes it feels very simple and that's kind of 
maybe because New York's history is like super complex, while the characters, they're like simple teenagers, you know what I mean? So I'm still not sure. I will see how it ends and I will get to you and I will get back to you when I'm done. Wow, I'm getting tired. I have 347 kilometers left out of the 1,500 I had. So I will talk to you later, Wolf. Okay, as you can see, I'm back from Belgium. I finished the other book while driving back here. And it's time for me to give you my overall thoughts uh, regarding the diviners. And honestly, I think it's gonna be like a three stars, but it's like 3.5 closer to four but it's like not quite a four or whatever because I wasn't that involved or not involved but invested in the story but overall I think it is a great story I really enjoyed um, like the way it was written but the atmosphere we were like wandering around with the characters you know New York like a kind of dark eerie less suspicious kind of atmosphere. Yes, it is dark, uh, but it's also like captivating dark because you have like speakeasies, et cetera, et cetera, you know, in New York. And you know, the just the atmosphere of that city was shooting the murdery, thrillery kind of thing. Like it was interesting and it was well done. It was captivating and that's what I loved about it. I also think that the characters were diverse and really um, in depth, I mean described in depth and I feel like I got to know pretty much all of the characters or at least like the main characters that came like in the story like enough times for you to just remember them quite well and as I said before uh, Evie feels like a character that could be annoying to some people but I feel like she's like adorable in some way well in some way but she's also like i don't know how to um put that she, i feel like she was a bit maybe too confident in appearance she was too outspoken she was too like always saying something biting back etc etc but underneath that she was like kind of lonely and you know um she wanted the attention, she wanted to catch the attention and she wanted to be the center of the attention, whatever, just because she was feeling a bit lonely and uh, misunderstood, especially because of her parents, because they don't seem to quite understand her and accept her the way she is, especially because, especially after uh, the death of her brother and she doesn't find her place in her own family, I feel like. And that's why she is lonely. And that's why she's kind of messed up. Let's say, like, she's not messed up. She's gonna make mistakes. You're gonna want to scream at her because of that. But I feel like the whole thing, once you get her background with her broader family and whatever, everything kind of makes sense. And I feel like she got like calmer or better uh, with like throughout the book so I will say that something I really like with all the characters and that's not I mean we're talking about the main character but all the other characters I felt like they were charming or I felt they had a purpose in the book and I feel like sometimes it's most important um, for just for them to just have like a purpose in the book because sometimes you just have characters who are there and you don't really know why they're here you still enjoy them but you don't know what they're doing there you know what i mean so yes i loved sam i loved teta i loved uh, memphis and zaya and there was one more henry i love them all i loved all the characters which is not always the case in books so that's a huge point for that i want to say that the villain is actually a, a, a villain, a uh, uh, disgusting, terrifying, scary being. So that was quite surprising. I actually enjoyed that. But overall, I'm not gonna go too in depth because I'm not like a professional or whatever. But I feel like the book was quite um, approachable or let's say like accessible that's what i mean accessible to uh many 
uh, and the audiobook was actually amazing. I really enjoyed the other book. It was like, it kept me captivated. Not enough to care enough about what was going on. Like, I cared about, like, I wanted to know what was going to happen. But I did not need to know what was going to happen because I wasn't scared for the characters enough. But I still wanted to know what was going to happen. So that's the thing. Um, but I found it quite interesting and the world building and the plot and it's always like twist after twist but it was done in such a way that it was not like overly twisted like it was not just too many twists in a row and it I felt like it kept going crescendo like little twist and then it was like going insane and that's something that really worked for me in that series so I feel like I keep saying everything that was good and not enough of what was not good for me and I still rate it three stars. But that's just the way I feel. Let's do, oh my gosh, I should update all my thing on um, the copile system. Let's do the copile system here. Okay, so let's do this on copile and see if I'm like just messing with that. So characters. I would say, like, that's complicated because I really like them, but I did not care about them enough. So I would say seven. That's so great. The atmosphere, I think that was my favorite part of it. So eight. Writing, it was a good writing style, but it was a bit like odd because I felt like the writing style was complex and really thought out. I don't know how you say that, but she thought. I feel like she struggled. I don't know how to explain that. It was like professionally done, but some parts were like so easily delivered and easily explained, like not easily, but in a simplest way possible that I felt like it was not, it was a bit weird. Uh, so I would say six. The plot, I would say, hmm, six or seven. Hmm, seven. The intrigue. Um, six I would say because as I said I liked it but I was not that invested so I feel like the intrigue even if I want it I didn't feel it. yeah logic seven enjoyment seven so yeah it's a three stars actually it's six point eighty six out of um, ten so it's almost like a four stars but not quite a four stars so that's exactly how I felt about this book. So I'm happy about the rating system. It makes sense. It does make sense. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm happy about it. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there is anything else I should say about that series. Yeah, it's kind of a mystery, thrillery kind of thing with magic. And there is a bit of the occult because the uncle is like, has like a museum gathering all the occult kind of things he could find um, and New York is kind of atmospheric by itself and the fact that Evie has some kind of magical abilities that she's like outspoken she's like a leader but underneath that she has like she suffers from loneliness and um, you know she's not just as happy as she seems to be or as she wants us to believe in it so yeah magic supernatural uh, so if you're looking for something with supernatural, uh, someone like for a prompt, read it on prompt, uh, powers, mystery, it's about friendship, uh, family, um, like so many things like dealing, like overcoming the death of someone, uh, a new beginning because she's moving from Ohio to New York. Um, she's going to meet uh, people there. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of other prompts that usually come up. Um, and there is a villain. Um, yeah. So I said about the villain that he was a supervillain or whatever, but I think I would have liked to have more 
like background regarding uh, the villain, I would say, and also like regarding the writing style. I said like it was like super easy, then super complex, etc., etc. I felt like some scene that's coming back to me now uh, were ending in such an unexpected way, not unexpected because it's what was happening was unexpected, but she was like telling you something. It was super tense and whatever, and then she stopped, like the author. And it, I, I felt like it was just a bit abrupt to finish some scenes, um, but overall, like the transitions, that's the word I was looking for. It. The transitions were kind of, you know, cut in a way I would have loved them to be like cut in a different way. But overall, a good book, and I feel like it's a good setup for book two, because yes, this is the beginning of a series, and hopefully I will continue with it uh, soon. I will continue with it. I really want to. I just don't know when. But... Yeah. Okay, well, so that's it for this reading vlog and it was actually picked by Ashley so thank you so much Ashley for suggesting me to give that series a try especially the audiobook because you requested I mean it's not that you requested you just suggested that I get the audiobook instead of the book so thank you so much for that I really loved uh, the fact that you take your time to suggest me something so of course if you have any more suggestions leave them down below i will have a look at them and see what i can make happen but yeah anytime feel free to suggest me suggest i have a problem with the word suggest to suggest me uh, a series of a book i should try and if i should read like the book or the other book uh, if you want a specific setup specific like amount of hours like a challenge or whatever just let me know what's but yeah, well, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have read it, if you have not read it and don't want to, or if you have not read it and want now to read it. Sasha, please say the old troll so you can wrap this up. Well, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section as usual. And until next time, take care, Wolves. Bye.